How do we understand subtracting signed numbers? We can already see that some complicated things are going to happen here because we can get negative numbers out of subtraction that just involves positive numbers. Right? We can get 4 minus 3 is positive 1, drawing the result starting from the end of 3 and going to the end of 4. But we can also get 4 minus 3 is negative 1, starting from 4 and going back to 3. Hmm. That suggests that for every example I have, I'm going to want to see the same example in the opposite order. All right. Let's say the signs were different. Let's say we have 4 minus negative 3 or negative 3 minus 4. Now I'm going to draw these number lines a little bit smaller so they fit on the screen. So 4 minus negative 3, that's going to start at the end of 3 and go to the end of 4. Oh, how long is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Positive 7. 4 minus negative 3 is apparently positive 7. Hmm. What about negative 3 minus 4? That's going to start at the end of 4 and go to the end of negative 3. That's negative 7. Hmm. Okay. I'm definitely starting to have a theory that when we reverse the order in subtraction, we just swap the sign, right? Let's see negative 4 and positive 3. Negative 4 minus 3, that's going to start at the end of 3. Go to the end of negative 4. That's negative 7 again. The other way around, start at the end of negative 4, go to the end of 3, that's positive 7 again. So these two gave me the same answer, and these two gave me the same answer. All right, let's try with both of them negative. Okay, negative 4 minus negative 3. I'm going to start at the end of negative 3 and go to the end of negative 4. That's negative 1. Negative 3 minus negative 4. I'm going to start at the end of negative 4 and go to the end of negative 3. Okay, that's positive 1. These rules are a little bit harder to pin down than the ones for addition. Definitely it looks like 
if we have two numbers with opposite signs and we're subtracting, the operation we want is addition. Okay, and how do we know what the sign is? Well, positive, 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 negative, 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 negative. The sign is going to match the first number. We add the absolute values and the sign matches the first number. Okay, what if they have the same sign? Well, we definitely want to subtract the absolute values. And we want to do it in the order that works, bigger minus smaller. How are we going to decide the sign of the answer? Hmm. With positive numbers, bigger minus smaller is positive. With negative numbers, bigger minus smaller is negative. So if we have bigger absolute value minus smaller absolute value, the sign matches the numbers we're subtracting. If it's the other way around, if we have a smaller number minus the bigger number, then the sign swaps. Okay, those are some weird rules. In the next video, we'll see a different way of approaching this that means that we don't really have to remember those rules if they feel too weird. But let's take a moment and understand that in terms of the red and blue chips. Right, in the last video when we were adding the red and blue chips, we saw that a red chip and a blue chip could cancel out. We can go the opposite direction too. We can always get a red chip and a blue chip. We can think of that as taking out a loan, right? I can get a dollar if I'm willing to go a dollar in debt for it. So with just positive numbers, 4 minus 3, that means I have 4 blue chips. and I want to get rid of three of them. That leaves me one blue chip. Four minus three is one. What if I want to take three minus four, though? Then I have three blue chips, and I want to get rid of four of them. I can't do that. I need to take out a loan. So when I do that, I get a blue chip and at the same time a red chip. Now I can get rid of four blue chips. What I have left is a red chip that's negative one. Let's see an example now with opposite signs. Let's say I want to take four minus negative three or negative three minus four. Four minus negative three means I have four blue chips and then minus negative three. Someone comes along and says, I'm gonna get rid of three dollars of your debt. Well, I don't have any debt right now, so I need to take out a loan. Specifically, I need to get my hands on three red chips. So what do I need to do? In order to get three red chips, I also get three blue chips. I'm borrowing three dollars so that 
whatever nice person just came along can get rid of three dollars of debt. So now I have, oh, seven dollars. Now on the other hand, in the second story, right now I owe three dollars and I want to spend four dollars. Again, I need to take out a loan. I want to borrow four dollars So that gets me four dollars of debt. Now I spend my four dollars. And what do I have left? Seven dollars of debt. Okay. So, so far this agrees with what we saw with the lengths. The remaining lengths are just these pictures again, but with the colors swapped. I'm going to leave that as an exercise. These rules that we came up with looking at the pictures they seem to agree with what we see with the chips. So these seem to be the rules for subtraction.